increase your survivability when you're on the ground, back mounted by an aggressor that's put you in an RNC, a rear naked choke. If I'm this far in, it's done. Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Nick and Ibrahim here, and, and today we are going to uh, debunk some Detroit urban survival tactics. So let's look at the tactics that we're gonna break down and debunk. In this case, he arches back. The defender arches all the way back as well, puts his thumbs into the eyes of the aggressor and causes him to let go. Another option is take his hands when he's pulled back and take it and slide it right to the rear and grab the groin and rip the groin down. Another option is to hook the leg here, arching the hips up, pushing the ankle down. These are all intelligent options which will increase your survivability. So clearly, Dale Brown has no idea on how the rear naked choke actually works and how the position functions. He knows so little about choking people that if his wife suggested to bring something new to the bedroom, uh, she would be greatly disappointed in his strangulation skills. Okay, so first up, let's just talk about the rear naked choke. If I'm this far in, it's done. Okay, it happens very quick. Options which will increase your survivability when you are being choked on the ground, back mounted, by a person who knows what they're doing. Cool. Let's discuss the pinning position, all right? So if he defends the choke pretty well and I can't sink it in, cool. Now just remember, it's not like this. It's like this. Okay. First mistake on how to apply the, the strangulation. Okay, so if he goes onto his feet and he bridges into me, getting me flat on my back, Okay, this does restrict a lot of mobility for me and it's difficult for me to move around and actually have strength, okay? But it's very easy to counter. I can always hook behind the knee, kick him over. Cool, and now he's on the side, more dangerous for him. Or alternatively, he's bridging into me, I can go feet behind both knees, kick forward, hooks in, and go again. Choked on the ground, back mounted, by a person who knows what they're doing. Let's address the eye gouge, all right? So if I'm here going for a strangulation and he takes one hand to go for my eyes, all right? He's already taking one hand away from defending the choke, all right? So now I'm more likely to sink this in. And for him going into the eyes, nothing's stopping me from turning my head, making sure that he doesn't reach. So even from a pin position, okay, he gets me flat onto my back and he goes for eyes, nothing stopping me from covering up my eyes. So if he goes, all right, go for my eyes, like, just put your hand in, okay, nothing stopping me from moving my head and still going for the chop. So, another way to prevent the like, eye gouging is very simple with this one technique putting on my glasses. So now if he goes for my eyes, he has to get past the glasses first. Oh no, it gives me more time to choke. <laughs> Choked on the ground, back mounted by a person who knows what they're doing. So let's address going for the groin. So he gets me flat on my back and he goes for the groin. Reach for it. No, he cannot, because I'm so tight on him, he cannot reach in. But he's freaking stupid. Once again, it comes to knowing how to do the position properly. Obviously, if you're, uncapable, if you're not capable of doing the position, stupid things like that will happen. Now let's say, let's say now I am a bit far away from him, and I have this space given to him so he gets me flat on Back and he goes for the groin. Should have space now. That's a lot of nuts! Cool. Nothing stopping me from turning him over still, right? Or, I'd say he does everything, he's going for the groin, okay? 
kick over. Now I trapped over that arm and that arm's gonna be uncomfortable. Or here's the best one. He is literally giving me his arm now, right? So if he's going for the groin, nothing's stopping me from hooking that arm in and pinning it down. This form of lacing, now that if I tip to the side, gives me so much more control. And now it's one hand versus two or one arm versus two arms. So now my, pro my chances of landing that strangulation is so much greater. Cool, alternatively, if you don't want to hook the arm while somebody's grabbing your nutsack, we can whisper very awkward shit into their ear. All intelligent options which will increase your survivability. Oh baby, you're just gonna make it harder for yourself now. Bruh. Oh baby, I love like it. Bruh. You know the skin of your lips is the same as the skin of your butthole. Bruh. Oh, I didn't know you liked it like that. Now I don't have to choke you. Bruh. Oh, so you do sign up to my own fans. Bruh. <laughs> <laughs> Gay! Choked on the ground, back mounted by a person who knows what they're doing. Okay. So, the last one now, okay, is that really shitty toe hold thing, all right? If anything, if he tries to tuck my foot underneath his knee, yeah, so get your knee over my foot. Yeah, this is not going to do anything. P push it down. I can just move my foot out. Hey, what do you know? Okay, if anything, if I cross my feet, however, now he goes uh, with his knee over both feet. Now he's got a toe hole, which can be very painful. Sure. Okay, no worries. Now that can be very painful, but once again, as demonstrated in the video, nobody's crossing their feet. So it's a very useless to toe hold. So the probability of it landing it is actually none. It's complete BS. All right guys, and that does it for another fake martial arts video. Once again, like, I can't believe Dale Brown is still posting, like his meme hood is like far gone already. Too and, high. But I mean, now I think he is a bit of a celebrity and a meme lord, so he's gonna, Keep on posting junk like this and people are gonna buy it. I mean, if an untrained person takes that position going for the rear naked choke, um, they will definitely fail. And I mean, they can be opened up for these cheap tricks, but just a little bit of training, like three to six months and knowing this position pretty well, you'll learn this position pretty well because it's the go-to finish. Uh, none of these cheap tricks are gonna work. They're literally like a last resort. And escaping that position is utmost the most important. And in fact, if you got into that position, you screwed up 10 steps ago already. But if you enjoyed the video, please smash that like and subscribe button and smash that bell notification so that you can keep updated with uh, my uploads. We are trying to upload on a more regular basis. And until next time, take care.